This video tutorial will give a brief overview of how loads are applied to ramps in Adapt Builder 2019. We're going to go ahead and use the commercial release Builder 2019 Build 0. And we're going to go ahead and use Edge with Floor Pro. This gives us the ability, Floor Pro rather, to model the ramps. This could be RC or PT. We'll just leave it in RC mode. And we're going to work here in um, SI units. First thing we're going to do is just model a structure with ramps. So we're going to do a multi-level ramp structure. This is just going to be a simple um, set of ramps for this model. So I'll go ahead and under model, let's just model a slab. And once we have the slab modeled, I'm actually just going to model the ramps first. I'll use the ramp option. This ramp will start here where I uh, designate the first two points. This is point one and two, start point or start top end. And then the um, last two points are the bottom end. We're going to actually model an opening to open up the slab around this. I'll show you a couple of ways to model the um, uh, how, how we can model the opening in the ramp. So here we're going to turn on snap to end point and we'll just model that opening on top of this. Okay, and we'll exit out of that. If I go to the visibility uh, toolbar or the ribbon, we can look at the rendered model. We can see the ramp goes from this point downward to the bottom plane. Now what I'll do is actually model some columns and supports. So let's go back to model. I'll just do columns at the top. I'll do a couple of columns at the bottom of the ramp. And then we're going to put another ramp here in this slot up above. Leave that as the structure. So now what I want to do is um, go ahead. I'm going to select everything, and then I'll just deselect the ramp and the opening. And I'll go ahead from Modify Vertical. I'm going to copy that up one time. So we'll copy that up. And if I go to Multi-Level Mode, you can see I now have two, two levels here. Now what I want is on the... Um, in, the, in this foreground area, this ramp is kind of behind. It's towards the back of the model there. In the foreground, I want the ramp here um, to do something like this. So because the first two points dictate where the ramp starts, we're actually going to be working here on the top plane. I'm going to identify these two points and then these two points and model this downward. So to do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll go back to single level mode and I'll just work up to top plane. And we're going to go ahead and under the model toolbar again, I'm going to model the ramp. And this time the ramp will go from here over to uh, this location there. And this misses that column. If I go back to multi level mode, I can just take the column stack and move it to that point. Uh, at the top plane, I don't want to use the opening to. Uh, open up the ramp, I'm going to actually wrap the slab around this location. So to, to do this, what I want to do is um, just go ahead and insert some points here. We'll insert four or five points. And then I'm going to uh, begin by taking this and just wrapping it around like so. And then I can fill that back in as needed with a slab. Okay, and we want to make sure we have these properly aligned. We don't want any overlapping. Same thing on this side. That's OK. And so now we have at this level, if I go back to my rendering, we have this ramp. If I go back to multi-level, we have something that looks like, like this. And we could copy these up to multiple levels above if we wanted to build the model out even further. Now the purpose here is to show how loading is considered for the ramp. So what I'll do is I'll I'll just set up a, a new load case under loading load case library. I'm going to add this. I'm going to call this ramp load. And at the first level, this is current plane. We're going to model loading in this ramp here. Um, and then I'll go up one level and model loading in this ramp. So I'll use the patch load option. I'm just going to model some load like so. 
and we'll call this ramp load. I'm going to say this is 2 kilonewtons per square meter. And one thing to note is this load right now is actually at the level of current plane, and it, it would actually be only projected onto the slab region that it's touching. So because it's fully engulfed by this ramp space, this load is basically um, not accounted for unless we offset it to connect it to the ramp. So what happens is if I select uh, this load here, and I go back to model, and I say connect this with the ramp, you can see it gets offset and placed at the ramp level. So that's important to do if you want it to be considered for, for the ramp. Now if I go up to this level, I'll come back to a, a top view, and now what I'm going to do is is overlap this. So we're going to add load not only to the ramp, but I'm just going to overlap it into other space relative to these two slab regions. And I'll do something like, like this. I'll still call that ramp load 2 kilonewtons per square meter. In this case, I'll go ahead and I'll, and I'll um, again use the modeling tool to offset that down to the ramp. Okay, so we'll, we'll look at a couple of different conditions there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, under load combinations, I'm just going to create a new combo called 1 times ramp load, just to test this particular load case. And we'll go down to the current plane first. I'll mesh the structure. And then I'm going to execute the analysis for this ramp load. Okay, and if we... Um, Go back to our default view. I'll turn on the slab deformation. And we can see we have some deformation over in this region here. If I look at this closer and go to ramp, you can see there's actually deformation here. So this, this ramp is kind of pulling um, some of that load into this edge here and then it's causing some deflection out here. If we if we look at the deformed shape of the of the slab, we get something that looks like like this. Okay, so this this ramp clearly is deflecting quite a bit at this level. We probably need some beams there, but this is an exaggerated view. Um, and that ramp displacement is actually causing this slab here to lift up. So that's why we see this these contours in that, that particular slab region. Okay, nothing's going on at this level because that load is applied at the level above. Okay, so that helps us kind of confirm what's happening in that space. I'll go up to the level above and I'm going to execute the analysis for this level. And again, if I turn on the slab uh, deformation, we'll do the Z direction and also the ramp deformation, Z direction. We can see in this case, the, the ramp, because I offset the load, only the ramp takes that portion of the load. So the, the, the loads can be categorically assigned whether uh, they're offset or not. If it's offset, it will apply only to the ramp. If it's not offset, it will apply to the slab. So if I wanted that, that loading, uh, let me turn that load back on. I'll go back, back to loading here. This space where I've kind of overlapped the slab and the ramp, if I want the loading to be applied there, I would actually need to assign a separate load You know, in this space. There might be a load that looks like that, load one, and then load two here. And those would not be offset, plus the ramp load. So that's how this is behaving at this level. Um, if I tie both levels together and run this as a multi-level model, Go back and turn that off, and I'll go to a um, 3D view here. I'm going to analyze the full structure. Okay, and if we analyze the full structure and um, go back here to slab actions, so we'll see Z direction and also um, Z direction for ramp, we get something that looks like this. So you might be interested in isolating the two just so we can see kind of what's happening with both. Um, if we go back to our viewer, we can see um, under Z direction, 
global model. Make sure we have So you can see there's there's actually no load applied to this slab, so this doesn't produce a contour. We only get the contour in this ramp, uh, ramp one, let's call it, ramp two, and then the slab at the main level is deflecting some. Um, partly because, again, this is deflecting down, that pulls that up. This right here deflects down, and that's causing some deflection down here on this level also. So that um, both ramps are affecting that lower level due to the global analysis of the model. Coming back into this deformed shape, if we go back and look at the 3D view of that, you can see that ramp actually goes down. It's just the relative displacement is much larger than at that slab level. So um, looking at this view, we can see you know, we get that contribution of of the displacement at this level due to the ramp here. And then if we flip that around, there's some happening also over here. If you have any questions about ramping in Adapt Builder and loading of the ramps, please contact us at support at adaptsoft.com. Thank you.